Uh, yeah, but uh, so follow up MSM to Congo Saga, and we have a lot of great players, as we mentioned. But it looks like we're going into it with Jackfruit and uh, G Shark right now. We Fit versus Inkling right now, and Inkling starting things off, or Jackfruit starting things off with that really good jab. But he's going to uh, end up off stage there, not able to capitalize very much off this paint. Interesting. This will be a bit of a semi-zoner battle. We didn't see G-Shark go for the deep breathing right away. Offs to do it in the midst of advantage state, and he ate a bit of a punish for that from Jack Root. Okay, good saving. conversion coming out from G-Shark there, the nair to the up air. Um, that extra knockback helping out that combo there and sending Jack Root super high. And uh, unfortunately, it looked like the deep breathing ran out there, and uh, G-Shark was not able to get that kill. Yeah, narrowly missed with the Sun Salutation, but still in command of the stage, and quite a percent lead, too. Over 80% in the lead now. Okay, up throw. Not quite at that percent where the uh, up throw up air is going to work for him. Just past the point where it might work now. Excellent sliding dash attack, and that will give him the opportunity to re-pull deep breathing. Yes. That time, and yep. Dash attack gonna take it. Yeah, that deep breathing. Uh, it, in a way, it's a lot like the the uh, persona for Joker, where it you, it defines the matchup a lot. I mean, it makes uh, certain moves kill that won't, and uh, gives you that extra speed that you need uh, if you're weak bit trainer. Yeah, it just affects it affects so many facets of the character. It's something that you have to respect and play around from Inkling's perspective. Not only your speed, but also, your weight, your fall speed, some of your grounded speed as well. That's him just neutral got up right into the down smash, narrowly missing that forward air. Forward air again from Jackfruit here. Uh, again, Inkling can sometimes struggle to kill here, as we're seeing. Uh, and Jackfruit really needed to come through with that edge guard there because uh, J Shark, as we say in the business, is running away with this. Uh, those medicine balls off stage can be so annoying. You're thinking about what, how you're going to ledge trap, how you're going to take the stock, and you're not ready for that ball to hit you. Putting on that extra percent and allowing G Shark here to run away with the lead. Yeah, that time just the simple parry into nothing allowed G Shark to get a F smash off, and all of a sudden, in deep breathing, this could be another kill. Oh, but the up smash from Jackfruit finally going to take that stock. Still with quite a bit of work to do now. This up throw isn't going to lead into anything, and that could have been the start of the comeback. But Jack still dashing back and forth, has to avoid some of these neutral airs. Yeah. Excellent slide from the soccer ball as well, but Jack Root will make it back, albeit with so much percent tacked on. Okay, up air coming in from Jack Root. That's damage that he really needs right now. Does it? The momentum right here seems to be more in G-Shark's favor right now. Uh, just Jack has not been able to find Yeah, with the deep breathing, pretty yeah, much already cracked. He is going to throw out the Sun Salutation and the F-Smash a bit too, trying to extend the lead, but he is going to get buried. Matches okay. out in time. Yeah, Jack Fruit. Uh, I'm not 100% uh, on how that roller worked, but it looked like he got stuck in, in it a little longer. Uh, okay. And this is a big opportunity for Jack Fruit. G-Shark is just covered in this ink right here, and he can put on a lot of damage. Excellent. Up smash from ledge from Jack Root, though, catching the jump. Okay, runs up with the dash attack. That's unsafe, and suddenly Jack Root is very much back in this game. Yeah, there's pretty much no dash attack in the game that's safe on shield, least of all Wii Fits. All right. Gets that back hip off to the up tilt. Some Wii Fit jank coming out and helping that, uh G-Shark. Is the Sun Salutation ready? Off to go for the soccer ball this time. G-Shark has been pretty just trigger heavy and trigger happy, but he gets the oh, long range and snipe. The ball, that will close it out. Wow. Calling out that side B that many Inklings love to go for. It gives you that extra jump and uh, allows you to 
recover faster. Yeah, that long range soccer ball is gonna be the first game in G-Shark's favor. I was gonna say that he was releasing a lot of the sun salutations as soon as he was getting them, or about five seconds after, but when you're conditioning him to jump as he was for Jackfruit right there, you're gonna land right into whatever projectile or whatever close up move we fit is feeling. Yeah, I, this matchup I think can be kind of tricky if you're Inkling just because uh, you know, Inkling has those big hitboxes. They love spacing you out with that back air, but with Wii Fit, you know, that ability to heal and the speed that you have can make it so, you know, you can sort of camp out your opponent. And it seems like uh, G Shark switching, though, uh, which is an interesting choice for him. Maybe he just wants to get some practice with his other. Uh, main or secondary here. Yeah, looks like we'll be getting the ditto here. That air dodge is going to leave him vulnerable, but Inkling's up special and his recovery in general just so, so good. Definitely. Yeah, and this will most likely be a battle of the back airs. We, we expect to see them spamming this move a lot in neutral. And that's not the first time that Jackfruit has just spammed Rapid Jab in the wrong direction. Have to make sure that you're oriented in the right direction before going for something like that. Okay. Yeah, so both players mashing jab there, but looks like a... Well, that being the fastest move, move you know, traded there, and then uh, Jackfruit went for the other jab faster and uh, just took the stock, or uh, he won out there. Good patience on the F-Smash on Shield 2 and he is going to get him in the roll. He up smash on shield. He's fairly quick, but it's fairly unsafe as well, and able to get a forward smash immediately, leading to the kill only moments later. Okay, up smash there. Going to get some paint on him. At low percentage, that paint uh, can be so bad because it can really allow your opponent to ball out of control uh, with that extra damage because they only need a few openings just to put you at kill percent. You know. And as we can see, yeah, both of these character players both covered in paint. It's hard to tell who's who, as both of them are uh, purple and orange at the same time. Excellent two frame with the down tilt. And yeah, great timing. Is able to make it back the second time, but as you mentioned, both of these characters pretty inked up. They will be taking more damage for the foreseeable future. And Jackfruit pretty much already in kill percent, but G Shark not being not being too much away himself. Down throw coming out from G-Shark here. Doesn't it really... Okay, well, he still gets that ink roller. He, he wasn't able to capitalize off, off of the uh, advantage he got there, but then caught the landing with the uh, roller there. And now that G-Shark knows that Jackfruit isn't too quick of a masher, he was able to get a bit of charge on the S-Mash. That might incentivize him to go for a roller a bit earlier than he otherwise would in his third stock. Raid will leave Jackfruit, and he does get two frame by the down smash. Conserved his jump, though. Oh, nice going high there from G-Shark, though. Oh, sorry, that was Jackfruit. Gets very confusing when both players are covered in each other's ink. But there we go. G-Shark is going to go for the roller that time and succeeding a two-stop.